Hello everyone, Scott here with another story time. Today we are reading Steam Train Dream Train by Sherry Dusky Rinker and Tom Lichtenheld. Through the darkness, clickety clack, coming closer down the track. Hold your breath so you can hear, huffing, chuffing, drawing near. A whistle blares out in the night, a mighty engine, wondrous sight. The smokestack puffs, the big wheels grind, the trusty tenders close behind. Cling, clang, the bell rings out on top. Hissing steam breaks squeal, then stop. The driver signals to the crew, each worker knows just what to do. Quick, before it gets too late, start to load up all the freight. Everything will soon be stowed, a train car matched to every load. The crew slides back the boxcar doors and tumbles in to start their chores. They whirl, twirl, cartwheel, jump, but cargo stored without a bump. Things that rock and roll and spin are all juggled safely in. The freight is loaded as they play. They work and bounce the night away. Building blocks, erector sets, bikes and kites and model jets. The boxcars made to safely haul almost anything at all. The hopper's top is open wide so cargo can be poured inside. The crew hops to it one and all. They get to work and have a ball. Then with a bounce, a pounce, a leap, three boys jump in and fall asleep. Tankers lined up in a row are getting filled with paints to go. Purple, yellow, green, and blue, a color convoy coming through. The reefer car is snug and cold. Its chilly box can safely hold frozen treats for every stop, like a rolling ice cream shop. The train car's packed, the crew sits back and chills out with a midnight snack. Ten hard workers lend a hand to fill the gondola with sand. Sand for castles, moats, and more. Sand for tunnels, sand galore. Stacked up on the auto rack, six race cars for a private track. Rainbow colors, flames, and stripes. Shiny engines, chromy pipes. The auto rack will gently keep these fast, fast cars all fast asleep. The well cars carry giant beasts, munching on enormous feasts. Brachiosaurus likes the view, while T-Rex gets a bone to chew. The flatbed cars are rolling beds. The weary crew can rest their heads and settle in and tuck in tight. Their work is finished for tonight. The red caboose is last in line. From the lookout, all looks fine. The freight and crew are tucked away. The next stop is another day. A hiss, a jolt, a shift, and sway. Now the journey's underway. The train's departing car by car. The headlight fades into the stars, puffing chuffing out of sight. Steam train, dream train. Tsh. Good night. The end. Thank you so much for visiting us. Let's pop on over to Ronnie for an amazing craft. 
Hi friends, this is Ronnie again here at the Colorado Railroad Museum and uh, we are getting later into the fall for November. And so the book that we have chosen for this has been Steam Train, Dream Train. And so our craft has to do with that. So in the book, you're talking about how the train is getting all its cargo in with the help of all the animals to go on a trip. And so let's get ready to go on our adventure of our craft. So the things you're gonna need are an egg carton, just one piece cut out. So you're gonna need somebody to help you with that. You're gonna need some glue, some scissors, a popsicle stick, coffee stir, which is like a long, really skinny popsicle stick. This time we're going to use buttons, but I'll show you in a minute that we could use something else. So a red and a green button. And then a black pen. So what we're originally going to do is something like this. It's a railroad crossing and put it like this. For this craft, I used pom-poms, but on the one we're gonna make today, we're gonna use buttons. So when you first get the, the little cup from the egg carton, you're gonna have to kinda cut it around, make sure it's even all the way around, and that way it'll stand up on its own. Then you're gonna also have to make a little hole in the middle, about the size of the popsicle stick, so it'll fit in there. So I just used the same scissors and I just went down in there. And then you can get your popsicle stick in there. Now what you could probably do before you get started is color or paint whatever color you want. On the other one I did black and that's okay. Um, or you could just leave it as it is. So there's that. Now you know it's going to fit and it's going to stand up. Okay, so then we're going to put that to the side and we're going to take the coffee stirrer and we're going to cut it into thirds, which is what I already did earlier. So one third of it is going to be the part that holds the lights. We're going to put it about right there. And the other one is that we're going to crisscross them for the railroad crossing part. Okay, so what we did, what we're going to do is we're going to get our glue. We're going to put this on here. Oh, I just closed it. So we need our railroad crossing so that we can stop and make sure that everyone's safe crossing. All right, so that we're gonna let that dry there. And then on this little sticks, you're gonna need somebody to write. We're gonna write railroad crossing on it. So probably put a little bit of glue and make an X. I think you're going to have to let it sit here for a little bit until everything stays nice and dry and then you don't have to worry about it falling apart. So now once it's dry, you kind of put it together. And as you can see, you could put the words railroad crossing on there and then glue it again. Make sure it's all good and tight. And then we're going to add the button. So we're going to first put glue on here. I'm going to stick one of them here. One 
more glue here. Get the green button. I'm going to let that sit for a while as well. So pretty much that's where it's at. You have your railroad crossing so that people know that the train is coming and then you're going to stop and wait. And then when everything's good to go, your the train is on its way. So we're just gonna let this dry here. And then when it's all done, being dry and everything's staying where it is, you can, we'll just put it up. And then you'll be able to put it on your dresser, or you could use it on, with your trains, or you can just kinda play with it as you'd like. All right, that's our craft for today. I want to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving and we will see you all at the Colorado Railroad Museum and look forward to seeing you next month. Thank you. Bye. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Commenting and sharing in particular may qualify as virtual engagements for important funding programs like the SCFD.